the first Dr. Octagon record was made because Keith had a record deal with Capitol Records and it wasn't going very well. And I was mixing that record and he came up with this character, Dr. Octagon, and I heard it and I was like, I want to do a record with this. So I put the music together and brought Kubert in and we, we did the record. And it had a lot to do with, you know, freedom, I guess, not worrying about what a record label is going to tell us to do, not worried about what a record's supposed to sound like at a given time and just doing it because I want to push certain boundaries and try certain things. <laughs> The reason we brought back the Octagon project was more just because we felt like doing it. We we had never done shows before. This last March 6th and 7th were the first shows that Dr. Octagon had ever done. We d decided to debut this thing we were working on, which is a multi-track DJ mixer. We made a custom multi-track mixer using a K-Mix and basically a, a touchscreen with a Mac Mini um, guts stripped out and mounted inside of it. The reason I had this machine put together and made was because I have a, I have a really large library of albums and things I've worked on over the years. I've want, I wanted to find a way to actually mix multi-tracks into other multi-tracks and be able to break them down to the various elements with the power to also manipulate and um, affect and do a whole bunch of things to the tracks as I'm playing live. It was really handy for the Octagon shows because we malted the K-Mix out using the submixes in hardware and ran a separate mix for the in-ear monitors, for the monitor wedges, and for the stage. The Dr. Octagon record was a good way to start with this machine because we have all the pieces to do it. So like in the show, you know, we bring in and out keyboards, bass, drums, guitars, and all these other things along with like live guitars, live, key live keyboards, live bass, live turntables, and it's just a mixture of all the elements coming in and out. I get to actually control what's happening from where I'm standing at that moment. I'm working on some stuff with uh, more interactive audio-visual installations based on what's going on with the audio out of the K-Mix. We've got a machine where we've looked at running both Logic and Resolume and having the KMX control both. So whenever Dan mutes something out that there's, um, say he's got drums, uh, scratches, bass, and a sample up and, um, and decides to mute three of them that you see the icon for the one track that's up and then as he brings them back in that the icon and video pops back up for each of them and manipulates the visuals based on the audio frequencies. Um, the Dr. Octagon project is um, coming along nicely. We're trying to get these shows really honed in right now. It's a work in progress at this point in the sense of like, we're figuring out how to do things that have never been done before. There's never really been a show that I've been to where like the real multi-track is interacting with the band. We're trying to push technology to the front end of what you can do live and to the furthest place we can go with it at this time. Paging Dr. Octagon, code blue in sector 13.